How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got a new update from the old school RuneScape team. This is customized F keys and music cape. The time has come and the music cape is here. Alongside it they also have fully customizable F keys and as always lots more. So let's get into the details of this week's update. Starting off with the music cape. The music cape has been a request in RuneScape for some years. The day has finally come and very well travelled old school players can now get their hands on the mighty cape. Visit Olaf the Bard in Relica to purchase yours. He charges you 99,000 coins like other capes. To equip the music cape you must have unlocked all of the music tracks except for the holiday event tracks. Along with the cape comes the air guitar remote. The air guitar remote is unlocked when you first purchase the music cape and you do not need to have the music cape equipped to perform the air guitar remote. Next. Customizable F keys. F keys are now fully customizable. By opening the menu found in the settings tab, you can now have full control over which of your F keys opens each of your side panels. From here, you can decide which F key you would like to open each side panel, as well as whether or not you'd like the escape key to close any interface you currently have open. So for example, that will be a bank, maybe the ground exchange. Next, call servant house option. When in your player owned house, it's now possible to call your servant using the house options menu found in settings. In order to use this option, you must first have a bell pull placed somewhere in your house. And finally, in other news, a game engine bug affecting the retaliation of ranging and maging NPCs has now been fixed. In particular, this affects Venonatus and Vetion and their behaviour when they've moved far from their spawn points. So it will make certain safe spots considerably less effective and will have similar effects on other NPCs with long range attacks. The graphics for the tunnel entrances under Port Sarum and Draenor Wall are now the correct way round. The Robin Hood hat no longer clipped with certain hairstyles. The inventory model for the mime top now has white stripes again. A couple of typos in the WWF Big Cats event have now been fixed. Doing barrows in fixed screen mode no longer causes your hit splats and overhead chat to appear distorted. Certain actions are no longer permitted while dueling at the Jewel Arena. Some more skilling messages have been added to the spam filter. The boulder at the Wilderness God Wars dungeon entrance has changed how it treats damage that's queued on you as you pass through it. And players will no longer see the Trident of the Sea during the charge animation for the Trident of the Swamp. So very nice update today, we've finally got the music cape and we've got those customizable F keys that people that didn't like the current setup can use. Also, we've got a whole host of other updates, including the Call cool Servant option. Seems like quite a small update, but quite a nice update this week. I'm questioning a few of the bug fixes which they've done in the other news, such as the boulder in the Wilderness God Wars dungeon, because it's been in the game for quite a while, and changing it is just going to confuse many players. However, if it is a bug, then it's good that they're fixing it. If you want to discuss this update, please go on the forums or in my comments below. And I want you to let me know how many music tracks you are away from getting that music cape. If you want to watch the last news post, please click here for the server maintenance on the 31st of July. And if you want to watch the latest developer blog, please click here for content poll 35. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with the old school runescape updates, dev blogs and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.